Um, so in this episode, I'm going to show you guys how to present your high polys in Keyshot and give it a really nice clay material. Okay, so before that, we need to import um, our high polys. Let's just go to import and let's find our high poly. There we go. Let's just open it up. And so in this tab, we don't need to change anything. Everything is like in perfect size, so we don't need to change. Um, let's just go import. Okay, um, so we just finished importing. Right now, you can see this model is being uh, perfectly shown up in our viewport. And now, this is not the material that we want. Uh, we need to give a bit of an um, adjustment on there uh, on the um, materials. So, what we do, we go to the material tab. And uh, if we want to have this uh, materials to kind of um, clayish uh, material, so we just go to the paint. And under the paint, we we'll choose rough. So, what you will see here is those uh, matte uh, rough materials. Um, obviously, those color doesn't look like um, clay as all well, at all, and you want to have your own customized color. So uh, you just pick any one. Uh, I'm gonna go with the orange one. Um, and so now, like, oops, it's a bit of a laggy. Okay, so now you see it's all real time, and everything when you rotate it, it will have like um, pixelated, like pick rendering process going on on, on the model so um, so we need to change the color so the next next step so we need to go to the color tab and we uh, we need just to find a color that kind of suits um, suits the, uh, the, the, the clay color um, I normally want to have a dark gray color so let's try this yeah much better it looks like um, so sort of like a toy clay or sort of stuff like that but that's some um, color I want maybe we should go further and see other color um, I like the light worn out color as well yeah so this color is kind of like a mud uh, ish color So I'll go with this color. Uh, so the next thing we we'll do, uh, we just need to maybe you want to change the uh, environment, um, you know, background stuff like that. Uh, you want to go for interior, and you just drag the one that you want. Yeah, just trying to uh, give a nice HDR lighting. Maybe change it to another one. Look cool, but but normally I don't go with the color. I just use the studio standard one, uh, the default one, and that works pretty good. And let's just go go ring it out, and let's go to ring the tab, and uh, we go and uh, ring the. And this is like a type of pop out popping up, and in this type you just choose your uh, where you want to save it, and let's go save it in the final final folder. Okay, and test. So let's select the folder, and we choose the size we want. There are some presets we can choose. I'll go with the nineteen twenty one, and obviously you have to upgrade out a few. Layers to make the final image, right? So this I I only recommend you to use two lighting and shadow, and occlusion. Um, and this this video uh, in this image it does have really nice ambient occlusion. So I don't think you need like any um, emphasize on there on your on your ambient occlusion. So let's just go for shadow and lighting. Uh, let's just do render. Okay, now it's finished. Uh, let's just go to the folder where we saved our file. Okay, here. 
Um, so here are these three files that we just saved from Keyshore. Uh, let's open up our Photoshop. Let's do some pulse of production. Let's just drag the three files into Photoshop. Okay, so for the lighting part, I normally do um, AO first. Um, it's pretty much the same. Um, it's the same process as what you do in, uh, for the layers, uh, for the textures to start. Um, so what we do we just do is multiply and change the opacity and let's go to uh, the lighting. So the lighting has the, the has the, ba um, the black um, background so I'll just, it doesn't matter I just delete and also it goes to overlay. change the opacity so if you turn off let's see obviously there's some changes on it and also the shadow so yeah um, also you can change uh, the color on your on your model yeah. so let's saturate the color maybe increase the contrast Drag this curve just a little bit, not too much. Yeah. Okay, so that's pretty much uh, all of it of the tutorials. Thanks for watching.